Alan, Steve Beaton in Wigan. You've had a, a long drive today, Steve, but ready and raring to go. Yeah, yeah, it was just a Friday traffic, uh, but uh, yeah, it was great, I'm great to be here. Yeah, love it. You enjoying your darts at the moment? Because the PDC calendar, as we know, is completely packed and there's so much darts in um, Yeah, it's been a, a busy, busy year, but um, you know, that, that's a good thing. If you're not busy, then you're not you're not playing well. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have a busy year. and. I think towards the end of the year, maybe I'll just drift it off a bit. I, I, I need to pick me game up a bit. You know, I, I, I always seem to, towards the end of the year, start to drift off a little bit. But, you know, I, I want to do well in this world if I can, you know. And, and, you know, the only way I can do that is a bit of practice. The calendar has changed so much, Will, while you've been involved in darts. I mean, now there's literally a tournament every single weekend when you start playing. You you're practicing more, you're playing, now you're on the board so much, aren't you? Well, that's it, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm doing the, the same with the exhibitions now, I mean, this weekend, you know, you got the, you got the World Series on, I didn't qualify for that, so obviously, you know, people want me for nights and exhibitions, so you never really get a weekend free, you know, which is, again, is good, you know, it's all work, works, work, you know, but, uh, yeah, it's been a very busy schedule, yeah. Lots of people are saying that darts is now a bit more of a young man's game, but I think, Players like yourself, Mervyn King's obviously playing well, lots of Justin Pipes coming back into form. There's a lot of good players out there still. Um, it is, it, I think it is a young man's game. I, I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to find it hard now, um, you know, with the weekends and, and, and having to practice as much. And, but I mean, you know, it, it's it's still down to talent in the end. You know, if, if you if you think you know you've still got the ability to do it, that's why. You know, obviously I've kept going. You know, I, I've always said if. If I start dropping out of the 32, then maybe I'll think about packing it up. But as long as you know, I, I deep down I think I can still do it. You know, I'll carry on playing. But uh, yeah, I wish I wish I was uh, 30 years younger. Yeah. For you, is it a case of you've still got the hunger left and you still want to go out there and win games and, and compete for trophies? Oh, definitely. I mean, I mean, I'm getting paid for something I enjoy doing. You know, it's you know, well, there ain't many jobs. You know, you, you get paid. You know, for for doing the job you love and you know it's great like even these nights you know you're meeting people and having a laugh and uh, you know it's, just, it's, it's, it's the social side of it you know I mean uh, it's, it's just great to meet people and you know all the countries I've visited as well you know it's, it's, it's a big world thing now. Every year we see so many players dropping outside sort of top 64 and having to go back to, to Q School. What do you put down your, your longevity to? Um, I don't know really, maybe it's just, just the way I've always thrown, you know, I, I try to make the game as simple as I can, you know, I try not to think too much about it, you know, if you, if you have a bad game, you know, there's nothing you can really blame but yourself, you know, you can't blame your darts, really, you know, to a point, you know, it's it's you that's throwing them, you know, and, and it's just you that's let yourself down, but, you know, and, and like I say, to keep it as simple as possible and, and you know, just think, you know, you lost that game, move on to the next one and, you know, try harder. I'm just moving on, looking into Lakeside, obviously you won World Championships back there, but obviously there won't be a big World Championship there. What's your, what's your take on that? Are you sad to see it go? That's a shame, yeah. I, mean, I, thought, I thought Lakeside was a great venue, you know. It was, you know, it was, it was great because the crowd was close to you. And, uh, you know, I've had plenty of memories there. You know, it's, it's been, it was a really good venue. Um, I don't know where, I think they're moving to the other two it is a shame to see the way it's gone, you know, you know, I do think you need you need that side of the dance, so I'm hopefully something will get sorted and, and, and you know, somebody will take it over or, or improve it or whatever, you know. There has been rumblings obviously of Bob Butter putting on his own tournament of non-tour card holders, whether that be legends or currently the O players. So. Lakeside still has a place in darts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm surprised Bob didn't, Bob didn't keep it going this year. You know, obviously it's funding and things like that. But, you know, uh, um, like I said, you know, you still need that side of the darts. You know, video is where I, I, I got brought up from. You know, it'd be horrible to see it go. But, you know, PDC have made the, made the land art now. And it's, you know, which side you really want to play on and whether you want to move to the PDC or not, you know. Uh, you know uh, I, I made the move years ago and I'll, I'll never regret it, you know, what, what I did was, was the right thing to do. Just finally, World Championships, just around the corner. Does that crowd get a, 
ever getting less slash of wheel from that stage. I don't know the uh, wheels, I don't know, I don't I just seem to have a mare there all the time, you know, and, and maybe this year to be different, I hope this year to be different, you know. I, I, I seem to play well through the year and a lot of the TV ones I let myself down. But, you know, this year I'll give it a little go, you know. I know if, if I'm getting through the first one or two rounds and settle down a little bit, you know, who knows what will happen, you know. It'd be great to win another World Championship, you know. It'll be, it's been a few years since the last one, but uh, you never know, you never know, could, could happen again. Cheers.